Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to do a compression test on a marine engine. In this case it's going to be my Volvo 7.4 GI. So in order to do this you need a couple of things. Um, you don't have to have it but it's uh, pretty good to have the manual for your engine. Uh, you'll need a ratchet, an extension with uh, the appropriate socket. In my case it's going to be the 5 8 inch socket. And then of course a compression gauge. I've also got a little spark plug set here, which is uh, not required, but nice to have. I've got a couple of uh, handy tools um, that can help you set the gap for your spark plugs if it's uh, not already set or if you're replacing them. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, you have to get the engine up to operating temperature. So uh, in my case, it's in the water right now, so I'm going to lower the drive and uh, start up the engine, get it warmed up. Alright, so once you got the engine warmed up to a normal operating temperature, uh, and this is where it's nice to have the manual, you're going to have to somehow prevent uh, the engine from sparking. So in this case, uh, for my model, I have to remove the two-wire connector. It's a gray connector, so I'll show you where that is. Each, each end is going to be a little bit different, but uh, you can see right there is the, uh, the two-wire connector that I have to remove, so I'll just uh, pop that off. good. All right, so I'm just going to quickly go up to the front here and uh, try and set it up just to make sure that there's no, no spark there. Perfect. So there's no spark. The engine's not, uh, not starting up, so that's perfect. So next you're going to need to remove the um, each individual spark plug. So you can start at the distributor, follow the spark plug wires down if you don't know where they are already. So if you follow these down, uh, there'll be four spark plugs on uh, one side, in my case, and four on the other side. So you can see there's the spark plug wires leading into the spark plugs. So I'm going to do them uh, one at a time, and I'll start at the, uh, the front left when I'm facing aft. So I'll pull the first one off. Perfect. So there's the uh, first spark plug that I'm going to test the first cylinder rather that I'm going to test. All right, so you get your uh, ratchet and your uh, socket and extension and uh, they shouldn't be in there too tight, sometimes they are. So just remove the, the first spark plug. And there it is. And this is a good time to actually inspect your spark plugs as well and see uh, what kind of shape they're in. The gap on this one looks uh, looks a little bit big. I'm gonna have to check and see what it's supposed to be. And these are also, I don't know if that's the correct spark plug either for this engine. So either way, I'm gonna be replacing them, but uh, yeah, doesn't look like it's in the greatest condition. Okay, so after you've removed the spark plug, you're going to connect the, uh, you're just going to screw in the, the compression tester. And I'll try and get a, sorry, I'm not, I don't have a great shot of this. You can kind of see it, um, it's just connected right in, just the same way the spark plug would connect. Right, so sorry, I don't have a very good shot of connecting it, but just, uh, you just screw it in hand tight. And once you've done that, uh, this is nice to have your manual tell you exactly what you have to do, but usually you're just going to uh, open the, uh, the throttle wide open and then, uh, crank over, I think in this case it was uh, five to seven, seven times. So what I'm going to do is crank the engine over and then I'll walk back to the gauge and looks like I've got about 160 PSI. So I'll take uh, note of that and then I, what I'm going to do is remove the next spark plug and connect the um, compression tester and uh, see what that one's at. So the second one here, I just skipped over it. Uh, it's right around 162 PSI, so I'll write that down. And the third one is uh, about 155, 156 PSI. Switch over to the fourth one. This one's about 162 PSI. 
And switching over to the other side, this is the right side facing aft. This one's at about 160 PSI. Uh, second one on the right hand side, 160 PSI or so, 158. The third one, 155. 156 PSI. And the last one, which is, looks like it's the lowest so far, 148 PSI. So all of these are within a good range, but if we, uh, we'll just go back to the manual here in a second and take a look and see what it says. Uh, once you're done also, don't forget to reconnect the ignition wires. And one other thing to note, I didn't mention. Of course, after you've done a, done the test on on one cylinder, you're going to re you're going to screw in the old spark plug and reconnect uh, the spark plug wire before you move on to the next one. Okay, so if you take a look at the manual here, it gives you a a, a range basically of what uh, what's tolerable for um, for your compression uh, pressures. So in my case, I think around 162 is what I had. So the minimum is 121. So the highest I had 162 and the lowest was 158, I believe. So we're well within the acceptable range for this engine. So basically your lowest reading has to be 75% or higher of your highest reading in order to be acceptable. And that, uh, that example is shown in the manual as well. So that's it. It's pretty easy. Um, if you have any comments, any suggestions, please, uh, please write them below. And uh, as always, hit the subscribe button and like button if you liked it. Thanks for joining me.